area introduction of area area of parallelogram area of triangle area of equilateral triangle area of rhombus area of trapezium and another formula for area of triangle we know a plane region in any closed shape is called as area of that shape we can measure area in square units like centimeter square meter square hectare square etc we are also aware with the congruent figures if two figures have same shape and same size we call such figures congruent if two figures a and b are congruent they must have equal areas hence area a is equal to area b but the converse of this statement is not true it means that two figures having equal areas need not be congruent hey students now let us consider this garden can divide into two parts in this way observe these two parts now both are not same in size and not same in shape too such figure cannot be said as congruent total area of this garden will be area of part 1 plus area of part 2 hey students we are also aware of some formulas for finding the areas of different figures such as rectangle square from our earlier classes the formula for the area of parallelogram a b c d is a parallelogram cut this parallelogram perpendicular through a e and move towards second end we can see that parallelogram becomes a rectangle hence area of rectangle obtained is equal to area of parallelogram but the area of this rectangle is equal to ad into df hence the area of the parallelogram is equal to ad into df so we can see that ad is equal to bc and df is equal to ae hence the area of the parallelogram is equal to length of bc into length of ae hence area of a parallelogram is the product of its any base and the corresponding height find the area of this parallelogram pqrs students as we have given height base and length of shown parallelogram and we know the area of parallelogram is equal to base into height now students we can easily find out its area area of triangle this is shape of parallelogram we call it as parallelogram abcd in this parallelogram abcd de is the perpendicular to opposite side ab here ab is the base and de is the height area of a parallelogram is equal to base into height if we draw a diagonal bd we get two congruent triangles that is triangle abd and triangle dbc congruent triangles have equal areas therefore area of triangle adb is half the area of parallelogram abcd but area of quadrilateral abcd is length of ab into length of de hence we get Area of triangle ADB is one by two into length of AB into length of DE. But AB and DE are the base and height of triangle ABD respectively. In general, area of triangle is one by two into base into height. This is triangle PQR. The area of a triangle is equal to one by two. into base into height find the area of the following triangle pqr shown area of triangle is equal to 1 by 2 into its base into its height base of triangle pqr is qr and height is ps while performing calculation we get 
area of triangle is equal to 4 square centimeter. Area of right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle, base becomes one side forming the right angle and height becomes other side forming the right angle. So students, therefore area of a right angle triangle is equal to 1 by 2 into one side forming the right angle into other side forming the right angle. Area of an equilateral triangle. This is an equilateral triangle. We know that all side of an equilateral triangle is equal in length. We have formula for area of an equilateral triangle is equal to root 3 by 4 into side square. In this equilateral triangle, EBC, EB, BC and AC are sides of triangle. Therefore, area of equilateral triangle ABC is equal to root 3 by 4 into AB square. Find the area of the following triangle ABC as shown. Area of an equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 into side square. Side of an equilateral triangle ABC is 6 cm. While performing calculation, we get area of equilateral triangle 9 root 3 square centimeter. Areas of rhombus. This is a rhombus. We know that diagonals of rhombus bisect each other at right angle. And again, we know very well that all sides of rhombus are equal in length. We have formula for area of rhombus is equal to 1 by 2 into product of length of diagonals. In this rhombus, ABCD, EC and BD are the diagonals. Therefore, for rhombus ABCD, area of a rhombus ABCD is equal to 1 by 2 into EC into BD. Find the area of the following rhombus ABCD as shown. Area of a rhombus is 1 by 2 into product of length of diagonals. Length of diagonals are 15 cm and 18 cm. While performing calculation, we get area of rhombus is 135 square centimeter. Area of trapezium. This is a trapezium. We know that one pair of opposite side is parallel and other pair of opposite side is non-parallel. We have formula for area of trapezium is equal to 1 by 2 into sum of length of parallel sides into height. In this trapezium, PQRS, PS and QR are one pair of opposite side which is parallel and side QP and side SR are the other pair of opposite side which is non-parallel side and PM is height. Therefore, for trapezium PQRS, area of a trapezium PQRS is equal to 1 by 2 into PS plus QR into PM. Find the area of the following trapezium PQRS as shown. Area of a trapezium is equal to 1 by 2 into sum of length of parallel side into height. The two parallel sides of a trapezium are 10 cm and 22 cm. If its height is 12 cm, while performing calculation, we get area of trapezium is 192 square cm. Hiron's formula states that area of a triangle is equal to root s, s minus a, s minus b, s minus c, where a, b, c are length of three sides of triangle and s is a half perimeter of triangle. Now students, let sides of triangle a, b, c are a is equal to 40th meter, b is equal to 24th meter and c is equal to 32th meter. 
and we have to find out the area of ABC. The half perimeter of triangle ABC is A plus B plus C divided by 2. By putting values of A, B and C, we get half perimeter of S is equal to 48 meter. Put value of S and values of A, B, C in Heron's formula. Therefore, area of triangle ABC is equal to root of 48 bracket 48 minus 40 bracket 48 minus 24 bracket 48 minus 32. The result is root of 48 into 8 into 24 into 16. We can write this product as 24 into 2 into 8 into 24 into 2 into 8. The product of bracket is 384. 384 into 384 is 384 square. The square cancels with root and we get area of triangle ABC is equal to 384 square meter. As we know that we can divide quadrilateral into triangles. Therefore, to find area of quadrilateral, we can use Heron's formula. Hey, let us try Heron's formula to find out area of this quadrilateral plot ABCD. As we can see, AC is diagonal which divides quadrilateral ABCD into triangle ABC and the triangle ADC. Let us find out length of AC with the help of right triangle ABC. AB is base and BC is height of right triangle ABC. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse AC square is equal to base AB square plus height BC square. Putting values of AB and BC, we get AC square is equal to 9 square plus 40 square. 9 square is 81 and 40 square is 1600. The sum is 1681 which is a square of 41. Therefore, we get AC is equal to 41 meter. We can easily find out the area of right triangle ABC. By formula, 1 by 2 into base into height. Base is 9 meter and height is 40 meter. While performing calculation, we get area of triangle ABC is equal to 180 square meter. Now, EC is also a hypotenuse or say third side of triangle ADC. To find out area of triangle ADC, let us use Heron's formula. For triangle ADC, let A is equal to 28 meter, D is equal to 15 meter, and C is equal to 41 meter. Therefore, half perimeter of triangle ADC is 28 plus 15 plus 41 divided by 2. We get half perimeter. S is equal to 42 meter. Therefore, putting value of S and values of E, B and C in Heron's formula, we get area of triangle E, D, C is equal to root of 42 bracket 42 minus 28 bracket 42 minus 15 bracket 42 minus 41. The result is root of 42 into 14 into 27 into 1. We can write 42 as 14 into 3 and 27 as 9 into 3. The product can write into two bracket as 14 into 9 into 14 into 9. 14 into 9 is 126. Therefore, 126 into 126 is 126 square. 
the square cancels with root and we get area of triangle is equal to 126 square meter therefore the total area of plot is sum of two triangular parts that is area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of ABC plus area of ADC area of ABC is 180 square meter and area of ADC is 126 square meter therefore the total area of quadrilateral ABCD is 306 square meter summary in this subtopic we have seen formula of area of a parallelogram area of triangle area of equilateral triangle area of rhombus area of trapezium another formula for area of triangle example on each figure so that is all in this lesson my dear students Math is a fun, so keep learning.